Now my mic is on. Hey, it's Marin, and this is the June 2019 forecast for Scorpio rising. So for this month, the big focus is on attracting both money and creativity into your life. Starting out on the third, there's, oh, I have, I have an email. On the third, you have a new moon in Gemini in your eighth house. And this is indicating a new beginning happening in your area of life regarding shared finances and joint assets with someone else. So if you're looking to plant a seed or start something new in that regard, this would be a great month to do that. On the fourth, Mercury enters Cancer in your ninth house and it will be direct all month in Cancer, which is really exciting. And this is indicating increased communication or mental activity regarding education, higher education plans, long-term travel plans, or spiritual or religious matters. On the eighth, Venus enters Gemini, moving into your eighth house of shared finances, which is indicating some more harmony or ease regarding finances that you have with someone else. On the 9th, the Sun will square Neptune, and on the 10th, the Sun will oppose Jupiter. And this configuration is uniting your 8th, 5th, and 2nd houses, and it's indicating that um, you might be going overboard regarding how much time or energy you're investing in these financial matters, and that there might be some deception or miscommunication regarding partner that you are involved with or children that you are involved with that these finances are relating to. On the 14th through the 16th, Mars will conjoin the North Node and then Mercury will conjoin the North Node in your ninth house in Cancer. And this is all going to be opposite Saturn, Pluto, and the South Node in Capricorn in your third house, which is signifying that you feel a really strong pull towards speaking your mind in some sort of long distance goal that you have, whether that's a belief that you're really passionate about, a spiritual or religious conviction. There's a lot of faded momentum behind you spreading your words and speaking your mind in a movement that you feel very passionate about. And this is really beautiful and great and a really powerful time to do that, but make sure that you are doing this in a way that is not specifically going against a structure that you believe is manipulating you because more more likely than not you are emotionally manipulating them and you're playing a savior role when that might not be what's going on so make sure that you are still powering through behind whatever movement you're really passionate about but that you're not getting in over your head with stories about it that aren't true it just is what it is on the 16th, Jupiter will square Neptune exactly, and this is a year-long transit, but it will perfect exactly by degree on the 16th. So look out towards overspending with a romantic partner or artistic pursuits in mind. And on the 17th, there's a full moon in Sagittarius in your second house of money and finances, which indicates a culmination of something you've been working on for the past six months financially, which is exciting. On the 23rd and 24th, Venus will oppose Jupiter and square Neptune, further activating this dynamic between really great things happening regarding money, but maybe being over the top or dramatic, and there being some element of deceit or confusion in how this relates to creativity or romance or children in your life. So three questions for you to ask yourself this month. Where am I holding a scarcity mindset? Second, how am I withholding from speaking my truth? And third, finally, what changes towards equilibrium do I need to make regarding shared finances? So if you found this helpful, give the video a big like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when all the Leo forecasts are coming up. I also offer private consultations and I would love to read for you. So if you're interested, hit that link below. Otherwise, I will see you next month.